Well folks, it's 31st of August 2017, summer's officially over, the kids are now back at school. So what are you going to do with your spare time? Well, you can't start thinking about Christmas, believe it or not. And one way of doing that is to look at purchasing calendars, because each and every year they do make excellent gifts for your family and friends, or even to put up in your own home. I took delivery today of my first batch of calendars. I got 100 this year, which is slightly more than past years, which have always sold out. I've also gone with a different format and different supplier to previous years. Previous calendars were A4 size, which opened out into an A3, but this year I've gone with a complete A3 format. They are also heavier paperweight as well, so in fact they're at Overall, they're about twice the weight of the past calendars, which is good. I'll just take you through some of the images on here. On the front cover, we have the world-famous Dark Hedges, which are really, really busy with tourists during the day. So the only way I could get a photograph of it recently was to visit here at half five in the morning. And uh, this was sunrise, which was maybe just about five minutes later, and the sun was casting in some nice light, nice warm light from the left here, onto the stems of the trees, uh, which is very nice. Um, calendars, they're all spiral ring bound, with a metal ring, and they have a little hanging thing to hang on the wall. I'll just take you through some of the images here. I'm going to give you a bit of background about them. With January, well, I'm going to start off with one of the, in fact, the first image I took this year. This is at Pans Rocks in Bally Castle. This little unusual bridge which is at the end of the beach and goes out onto a little island which fishermen use. This was taken on New Year's Day at sunrise when a lot of you were probably nursing hangovers from New Year's Eve parties. February we have the Giant's Causeway. Again, another sunrise. I really love doing sunrises. They're just so peaceful and you just basically get most places to yourself. Although this particular morning there was a couple of other photographers who'd been there from about half two in the morning or something crazy. Uh, this was maybe an hour after sunrise. I was just waiting for the sun to rise over the top of the, the headland to the the left to cast a nice sort of light on the up on the point here and also onto the stones to create some nice uh, side lighting and want to get some of the water in and then create a nice, using the shoreline, a nice sort of S-curve coming through up to the main focal point, which is uh, the top of the headland there. March, uh, Dunlis Castle, quite a few photographs of the castle, but despite this being a very cliched angle, I haven't really photographed from this angle in about four or five years. So again recently I thought I would get down as it coincided well with the position of the sun. Um, get a nice shot there. Murdoch Bay, uh, close to Fairhead near Ballet Castle. Again another sunrise, an early start, probably about half two in the morning to get up here. Uh, I think sunrise was about five or half five this particular time of year. Uh, nice lone tree, nice foreground rocks here as well. Uh, nice sweeping curves and round to the headland and round towards Tor Head. May time, bluebell season again, so the obligatory bluebell photograph. Back to Portland Lone Forest, it's just a couple of miles away from me. Um, struggled at first to get any angles of really really fine woodland shots, pretty difficult. And um, as I actually caught this, this caught my eye literally seconds before the sun vanished. You know, I've got nice warm light on the trees, and it's hard to tell here, but they're on 
some of the bluebells here, and then obviously the, the the bark path is lit up nicely as well. But just after the shot was taken, the, the light just dipped away and vanished. Ballantoy Harbour, again another classic shot from above the boathouse. Nice sunset there again. In the summertime, July, White Rocks and Port Rush. Nice elevated view from the cliffs, just looking along the beach. Again, nice sweeping lines of the, the cliffs and some of the rocks down here, so our leading lines as well. Just all curving your eye in around towards the, the setting sun. That's one of my latest shots up at Fanad uh, Lighthouse about two weeks ago. I stayed up here overnight and I made my Star Trail video and the meteors as well. Um, absolutely glorious uh, sunrise, really, really vibrant pinks in the sky. Again, nice foreground interest with the rocks, uh, nice textures, and just all sweeping around again to the, the main focal point. Bally Copeland Windmill in County Down. Um, I wanted to photograph this about a year and a half ago, two years ago the most, but I drove down and the sails were gone. <laughs> you know, it was just a, the building here, but these sails were being refurbished and everything was clad in scaffolding, which was disappointing. So after about a year and a half of refurbishment, it reopened recently. So. I went down there for a nice sunset one evening. Tullymore Forest, this was taken last autumn and classic shot of the, the stepping stones. Absolutely love Tullymore, I used to camp there quite a lot. Another recent shot in this was taken maybe about a month ago of Port Stewart Strand. These nice posts on the beach and nice movement in the sea as the waves come in. And then finally a nice snowy scene in December. This was this up the Moor Mountains and to have Sleeve Donard up here which is the, the highest peak in Northern Ireland. Um, I just really like the, the difference in textures and colours here. You've got the warm Warm here, and then cold, and then warm, and then cold again. And then we've got this sort of nice zigzag line as well, leading through as well. Okay, so that's it. They are £10 each, and plus postage and packing costs. I can ship anywhere in the world. And you can find a link on my website, and there'll be a link below this video as well. So will take you to see the, the images in better quality and it will give you information about overall costs and things. Um, shipping charges are slightly more than previous years because due to the, the size increase and the, the weight increase as well. So unfortunately that's just outside my control. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, Orders will be going fast and I'm starting, I'm sending out my first batch to customers tomorrow morning. So if you want some, get your orders in quick. Uh, also a few prints here as well, just ready for customers. Uh, just different scenes from around the coast. Um, a framed print of, again, the dark hedges. And just some other parts of the coastline as well. These are printed and framed by a friend of mine, Darren Cumberland. So I would highly recommend him if you're looking for a printer and framer. Um, very good service and very easy to work with. Okay, thank you. Bye.